Sebastian Shakespeare. British QC backs Emil Clooney for a seat in the House of Lords. Before marrying Hollywood's most eligible bachelor, Emil Clooney was already a respected international human rights lawyer with a string of high-profile clients including WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. But when it comes to the dearestly ambitious Emil, is this just the tip of the iceberg? For I can reveal that leading British barrister Helena Kennedy QC, a founding member of Doughty Street Chambers where Emil works in London, is championing George Clooney's 39-year-old wife to be elevated to the House of Lords. Emil would be a great baroness, claims Kennedy, who after being made a Labour peer in 1997 is now titled Baroness Kennedy of the Shores. She's an incredibly bright woman. The only justification for being appointed to the second chamber is if you can bring to it special expertise and that can be of all different kinds. And Emil certainly has expertise. The fact that Emil gave birth to twins Alexander and Ella just four months ago is Helena insists only a temporary impediment. Just now, she's got two small babies, so she's too busy and has lots of cases. But in time, she would be great. Helena, 67, who lives in North London with her second husband, Surgeon Yoni Hutchison, is a prime example of how to juggle a demanding career with parenthood. I had my first child at 33, and then another at 36 and another at 39. I kind of always knew that I would just make it work, she adds, certain that Tamil, who arrived in Britain aged two when her parents left Lebanon, will manage just as well. She's a fantastic role model for women. Girls should aspire to her. She's so intelligent. People go on about her bagging George Clooney, but you know what? George Clooney is the one who got lucky. A future ennoblement would no doubt be welcomed by Oscar winner George, 56, who is reportedly planning to embark on a political career. Billionaire tycoon Sir James Goldsmith and Shorty's affable sons, Dory MP Zach and financier Ben, enjoyed a privileged education by sending them to his alma mater, Eton. Now a parent himself, Ben, who inherited £300 million when his father died 1997, reveals he's taking a less dictatorial approach with his 12-year-old son, Frank. I hope he's going to Eton, but I don't know. He's certainly on the waiting list, but we're looking at all options, Ben, 36, says. For me it was all planned out. I never minded. But, ultimately, I feel like it's their choice. He adds that Frank's mother, his first wife Kate Rothschild who ran off with rapper J Electronic agrees. Peaky Blinders star Cillian Murphy often cuts a fashionable dash on screen, but in real life he admits to a preference for old rags. For me, an item of clothing doesn't become yours until you've worn it for a number of years until you've imprinted yourself on it, says the 41-year-old. I'll wear the S asterisk asterisk out of a jacket, or a pair of boots, or whatever. I love things that are naturally distressed. What's in the designer bag for Jade's birthday? Rock Royal DJ Jagger was once a pillar of London's social scene, counting Kate Moss among her hard partying pals. But, on turning 46 at the weekend, she showed she's just as happy with low-key celebrations at home. A video has been shared online by her half-sister Georgia, 25, showing Jade in bed while being brought a bag from which her three-year-old son, Ray, leaps out giggling before giving Mum a hug. Says Jade. I used to love going out, but when you become a mother your priorities change. I love spending time at home with my family, 